All right. Um, this here is going to be the Act Five Kitava battle. Uh, fighting him on uh, my Marauder here. Believe it or not, he's actually my main, despite the fact that I hardly play him. But his single target attack is Heavy Strike with Light Bleach, Multi Strike, and Fortify Support. AoE is Ground Slam. One hell of a drop here. All of them linked with Onslaught. Multi-Strike, Life Leech, and Fortify. Uh, decoy Totem. I have to find him. I'll just, I'll just do this. Um, Vitality gives me some uh, life regen. Inc decoy Totem, Vitality, and Immortal Call. Both of these are buffed by increased duration. Probably one of the reasons. Probably a very valuable item right here for him. And then Leap Slam. Faster Attacks. Endurance Charge and Stun. And Repost. Then Warlord's Mark. And Blasphemy. And then I got Vengeance, Reckoning, their counter-attack gems with Endurance Charge and Melee Stun. So, that's what I got on that. And, um, and if you notice, I got a whole bunch of random items I got on my inventory. Reason being is, uh, this guy is hardcore, and, uh, because of how slow this guy is, and, uh, and because of, uh, a lot of Kataba's attacks cover huge areas, like he's, I know he's got one that, hang on just a second, okay, he's got one that just goes, <laughs> Sweeps at least half, half the platform. He has another one that he punches the ground and it causes a big uh, ground slam like attack. Like that. It causes that. Okay, I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a very hard time getting out of those. Um I think he has another one where um three or four red orb thingies start start moving towards the center and then pew, big explosion that one's gonna be tough for me to get out of because again he's so slow um, my only real way to counteract it is with a mortal call but uh, one I gotta have a I have to have a bunch of endurance charges in order to make any use out of that otherwise it only lasts maybe one second on a three second cooldown um, I guess I can show you my flask too. These are all centered around. Okay, that's instant recovery. That's. But yeah, I got uh, movement speed here, so that should help. A little, little bit of life leech there. Uh, some damage boost with some movement speed. Definitely gonna need it. Um, and better defense there. And 1,200 health. It to me, it's a little bit on the low side. When I when I try to fight her, when I try to fight this guy on my ranger, I think she had she had around the same amount, but she was killed in one hit. So. But, like I said earlier, um, if he dies, these are all, these are all things I'm going to bring with me in the standard. So, so, 
Wish me luck. And let's hope the let's hope my computer doesn't restart like it's been doing the past two days, or let's hope this game don't crash. So I've actually fought this boss a few times already. I think I beat it. Nope, apparently not. I think I did it. Oh, yeah, before I forget. On the upside, though, resistance-wise, he's good to go all the way to Act 10. The flame of hope may flicker, but it cannot be extinguished. That's it for the fight. Glad to have survived it. Of course, I'm going to take a lot of chaos damage now. 
And it looks like I'll be putting all these items back. <laughs> 